fighting for services. Some tri-state area parents say that it has been a battle getting their children with disabilities the medical care they need. New tonight, CBS 2's Corey James explains why they are frustrated and pleading for change. It was at least six months. I waited two years. Two years. Right now, I've officially been in this process for more than a year. These three moms may not know each other, but they are dealing with a similar struggle, getting their children who are on the spectrum therapy services, something that has taken months and in some cases years. I just kept thinking, I'm losing time, I'm losing time. There's not one step that's just been, you know, easy, click, send, done. I'm educated. I have a master's degree in social work. And if it's difficult for me. A challenging battle, Tracy Ann Samuels is fighting for her 14 year old son, Trey. <laughs> the high school freshman is musically gifted and mostly nonverbal. Samuel says she is determined to prepare him for adulthood, but submitting paperwork to New York State's Office for People with Developmental Disabilities, or OPWDD, is a runaround game. We did get something back saying your documentation was received, but I kept on calling. I was told that they can't find the application. They said to send it again to another website, which I did. I resent it. I called back again. We can't find your application. The agency is responsible for coordinating services through a network of approximately 500 nonprofits. Michelle Singalia is also going through them for her 11 year old who is severely autistic. I have probably 150 sheets of paper that I've had to scan and fax. And in this day and age, there's absolutely no excuse for not A, not to be fully digitized and to be streamlined. The population we're dealing with is very uh, time sensitive. In a statement, OPWDD acknowledged delays because of COVID-19 and staffing shortages, but stated a hiring freeze lift is, quote, resulting in improvement in OPWDD's ability to process eligibility requests. Over the last two years, we've heard of an increase in wait times. Autism Speaks, a global organization helping families who have children on the spectrum, tell CBS2 they get between five and 7,000 calls every month from people needing help getting appointments. That's a 20% increase from when COVID began in March 2020. I'm definitely seeing um, contacts from suburban areas willing to go into New York. But then that puts more stress on, you know, the major metro areas because there's a lot of people with autism that already live there. Catherine Wiederman, who is a board certified behavioral analyst and special education consultant, says services are few and far between now that many providers are leaving their careers to work from home for the same hourly rate. If these kids at three aren't getting the right treatment, then at 21, uh, it, it's a whole new ball game of issues. This is me. Me, me. A game these moms are playing in hopes of getting early intervention so that their children can win. Time is of the essence for these kids in their development. So when, when you're told then, okay, now wait some more, it's paralyzing. Trey Samuel's mom says that her son's application was found two months later, and now they are waiting on approval. OPWDD said that it does complete on average 10,000 applications every year. We have the agency's full statement on our website. Find it at cbsnewyork.com.